thank you so much ladies and gentlemen who are watching us from wherever you are my name is julius ojola and welcome to brain wave here in teso subregion and today we are here as your care services in teso boarding primary school one of the biggest schools we have here in teso subregion and we are going to do quizzes today here now my brother here is going to be asking the questions to the two teams we have uh, a p7a and p7b and that is how we are going to do it let me introduce him first stanley manuel Odeke is mine a teacher are we ready yes group a are we ready yes group b are we ready yes we are having only one minute then we pass the question isn't it yes. teacher we go question a goes to uh, question one goes to group a mountain renzori is the highest block mountain in africa option a true option b false true Correct. Those are two points. Question two goes to group B. Henry Morton Stanley was the first European explorer to enter Uganda. Option A, true. Option B, false. False. Correct. Wow. Two points. Question next goes to group A. Uganda is located in the western part of Africa. Option A, true. Option B, false. False. Correct. Two points for... Group A. Question 4 goes to Group B and it says, Fault mountains were formed as a result of faulting. Option A, true. Option B, false. False. You're right. Wow, two points. Question five goes to group A. A plateau is the highest physical feature we have. Option A, true. Option B, false. False. You're right. Wow. Two points. This one goes to B. It says, River Nile is the longest river in Africa. Option A, true. Option B, false. It's true. Wow, it's a good one. Wow, that is so great. I don't know what is going to happen here. <laughs> this is a serious tie for sure. <laughs> All of them are competing. Oh. I think we go to the next one. It says, the highest mountain in Africa is mountain Kilimanjaro. Option A, true. Option B, false. <coughs> True. A beautiful answer. Wow. That's so great there. Let me check on this one also in the next group. Executive arm of the government is headed by the Chief Justice. Option A, true. Option B, false.
It's false. Wow, it is a good one. So great there. <laughs> Maybe this one may give them a challenge. Let me try. Sir William, Sir Walter Coates granted Uganda independence. Option A, true. Option B, false. It's true. What a good one. Good for there. It is really a serious competition these ones are having. Let me check on the other one. This one is going to be uh, given four options. One says, which river carries the largest volume of water in Africa? We have four options. A, River Nile. B, River Niger. C, River Congo. D, River Zambezi. It's C, that is River Congo. You're right. It's a great candidate there. It's, he's really a great one. Let's go to the other one. Let's name the largest ethnic group that we have in Africa. And the option A is given us Nilohamites. Option B is the Bantu. Option C, Sudanic people. Option D, Nilotics. B, and it's the Bantu. A great boy. Let's have this one uh, to group B. Who are believed to be the original inhabitants of East Africa? We have four options. A, Bushmen. B, Babas. C, Pygmies. And D, Negroes. See that one? Hey, and it's a bushman. <laughs> wow, this one's already for PLOE. <laughs> wow, ladies and gentlemen, that is what it means to be in Teso boarding primary school here in Soroti. We go. This is the next one and says, Name the largest pastoral tribe that we have in Africa. And option A says Karimajong. Option B says Fulani. Option C says Takana. Option D, Masai. B, and that is the Fulani. A very clever girl there. Wow. <laughs> She's right. She's right. Let us have the other one and we see whether this one will separate the two teams. Okay. It says state one factor which influenced the settlement patterns of ethnic groups in Africa. And option A, cloud cover. Option B, atmosphere. Option C, economic activities, and option D, Somalia. It's C, and, that's, and that is economic activities. Uh, I thought he would be saying Somalia, but he has got it right. <laughs> wow. Okay, let's have this one. Uh, this one goes to group A. And this is the final one for group A. It says, which was the first group of foreigners to come to Africa? Four options. A, explorers. B, traders. C, missionaries. And D, colonialists. B, and that's the traders. Wow, I don't know what to do here. He has got it so correct. <laughs> I, I don't know what the judges are going to do. <laughs> Let's have this one. Maybe it will give us a difference. 
Uh, it says, what is the three R principle? What is the three R principle? Option A says, reduce, reuse, recycle. Option B says, reduce, reuse, restore. Option C says, recycle, reuse, respect. And the option D says, reduce, respect, restore. Which is which? It's A, that is, reduce, reuse, recycle. Wow. That is very correct. Ah, I don't know how to judge my people. All of them have got the points correct. Let us get this one, and it is going to be a definition. It says, what are physical features? It goes to group A. Physical features are landforms of an area. Wonderful. Beautiful answer there. Very great one. What maybe I can add to this one as the last one? Name the highest waterfalls we have in Africa. Name the highest waterfalls in Africa. It's Victoria Falls, found on River Zambezi. What a beautiful moment it has been. Out of the questions I have given, 25 questions for each group, they have scored 50 marks. They have all participated and each group has got 50 marks, totaling to 100. Wow, let's give a big clap to our teams here. So ladies and gentlemen who are watching us from wherever you are, I don't know what to do here in this big school. We all know that Teso Boarding Primary School is the biggest school here in Teso sub-region. And today we're having these candidates divided. We had the group A and we had group B at this side here. And all of them have passed all the questions. I don't have what to add there, but I believe this is how these people always get their results. Because I can see the smiles, they are ready even for PLOE. Let me hear from one person this side, whoever wants to talk this side here and tell us anything. My name is Esther Dina Akinyu. We are happy today to present this to you and we are very ready for PLOE and we promise that we shall be among the best candidates and this year it will be a wonderful year in the sub body. That is a big one. I hope you've seen by yourself. By the name some called Julius Ademun. I really want to appreciate you guys for coming to support us and to bro broadcast our school. What we can say is that we are ready to perform well and to do the best we can. Wow, that is so wonderful, guys, out there. Let me give the teacher of SST to tell you something. I don't know why these people are clever like this. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. It has been a great time. And really, I have to appreciate them. We have to appreciate the work we do here. As uh, the school, we have taught, we have prepared our learners for a 2024 PLOA, which is coming soon, and we are ready for that. I want to thank the administration for supporting us because without them, we will not, we will not be in position to achieve all of this. I want to also thank the manager of ours, that is Richard Omusei, and our proprietor, that is the Honorable Helen Adoa, for giving us some great support. In fact, it has, be, it is, it has been a wonderful time, and it is going to be uh, a wonderful year for us. We promise that we shall be in the top. 
as a Teso Primary School, we are ready to compete this year. This is going to be our year in Teso. Wow. Yes. <laughs> wow, that is so great, ladies and gentlemen who are watching us from wherever you are. I remain Julius Ojula, and one thing you need to know is that this uh, Teso boarding school is one of the schools under Halshon Foundation schools here in Teso sub-region. And we have Halshon High School main campus Soroti. We have Halshon High School Ochapa. We have Halshon High School Serere. We have Teso boarding here. Not forgetting the next school that we are going next Friday. And that is Toto Adoa Primary School in Kiere.